indifference, first and foremost, I would like to welcome you all to this Bioethics Symposium jointly organized by the CHK Center for Bioethics in the Department of Philosophy. And I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate Professor Han Lam Lee for successfully putting together this symposium. As all of you would know, and most of you would, would know, Horn is a professor of philosophy and used to be affiliated to only the Department of Philosophy in the past. But now he's also closely associated with the Faculty of Medicine, being the director of our newly established Center for Bioethics, which is under the administration of the Faculty of Medicine. And Pon's appointment to the directorship of this center is a demonstration of the truly multidisciplinary nature of the center. And being multidisciplinary and engaging as many people in the university as possible is exactly what we would like the center to be from the outset. The reason is obvious. Our ethics is about life, about health care, about biological and medical treatment and technologies. And this is not only the business of healthcare people or medical professionals, it's everybody's business. So in our center, we have lawyers, we have basic scientists, we have colleagues from the Faculty of Arts and Faculty of Social Sciences. And we have philosophers, of course, many of them, and as well as nurses, pharmacists, public health experts, and physicians, and all working closely under the umbrella of the center. Now, in our university, although we have been teaching ethics to our students, including medical ethics, uh, legal ethics, uh, research ethics, you know, business ethics, and so on. And we have done this for a long time. But the concept of multidisciplinary center of bioethics is relatively new. And to make sure that this newborn center will thrive, we need a lot of help, especially help from friends from outside the university. And we are very privileged and grateful to have had many helpful friends, both local and from different parts of the world. And they give all kinds of invaluable advice and assistance in the setting up and inauguration of the center. And today, I'm very delighted to welcome some of these friends, gracing us with their presence as session speakers, discussants, or moderators of the symposium. We have Professor Elsa Campbell from Singapore. And Elsa is not only a friend, but also our advisor to the center from the outset. We have Professor Bonnie Steinbock from the State University of New York at Albany. Professor Peter Chow from the University of Hong Kong. Professor Ruping Fan and Professor Homan Chen from City University, Professor John Lisa from Kustang University of Pennsylvania, Professor Jie Yin from Southeast University, Nanjing, Professor Paul Menzel, Pacific Lutheran University, Professor Xin Yi Chen from University of Vermont, and last but not least, Professor Jonathan Chen from Baptist University. Have I missed anybody? This is the list you gave me, Hon. <laughs> <laughs> and to all these friends, I would like to say a big thank you to you. We also owe our gratitude to another very important person who has contributed enormously to the formation of the center and is to this day still supporting us with the center's organization work. Our MC today is Edith Terry. Are you still going to be the MC? No longer. But we have to thank you anyway. Edith. 
And on this note, I would like to end by wishing you a very successful and fruitful symposium, and thank you very much. Professor Falk, Professor Campbell, Professor Steibuk, Professor Lisa, Professor Menzel, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Department of Philosophy of the Chinese University of Hong Kong, I would like to extend my warmest welcome to all of you and to this Bioethics Symposium. This Bioethics Symposium is jointly organized by the Chinese University Center of Bioethics and the Department of Philosophy. It is our great pleasure and honor to have our uh, four eminent specialists in bioethics to be speaker for our uh, symposium, as well as a number of distinguished scholars to be our discussants and moderators. In the coming five hours, we are going to have an exciting intellectual journey in which we shall visit a large number of intellectually and practically interesting and important issues in bioethics. Our first speaker will be Professor Alistair Campbell, Chen Su Lan, a centennial professor in medical ethics from the National University of Singapore. Uh, professor Campbell will argue that the body does matter and relates the relevant moral concerns to two areas in modern medical practice, namely the trade in human tissue and aesthetics medicine. Our next speaker will be Professor Bonnie Steibuk, Vincent O'Leary Professor Emeritus from the State University of New York at Albany, who is also currently the Tang Junyi Visiting Professor to the Chinese University's Philosophy Department. Philosopher, uh, professor uh, Steibuk will discuss with us various issues in reproductive ethics, especially the problem of the requirements of procreative responsibility in IEF, in ritual uh, fertilization. Our third speaker will be Professor John Lisa, Professor of Philosophy from Kutztown University of Pennsylvania, who is also currently visiting professor to our Department of Philosophy. Professor Lisa is going to tackle the difficult problem of defining brain death, as well as the claim that brain death is death. Our last, but of course not least, speaker will be Professor Paul Menzel, Professor of Philosophy Emeritus from Pacific Lutheran University. Professor Menzel will consider various difficult ethical issues concerning advanced directives for patients in dementia. What I found particularly interesting is the question, if the then-self, now-self problem is a barrier to implementing advanced directives to certain patients in dementia. And I know that Professor Menzo's answer to this question is negative. I was told by Professor Hon Lam Lee, the convener of this symposium a few days ago, that there have been more than 70 people already registered for this uh, symposium. This is an extremely encouraging number for a conference in philosophy, as we all know, yeah. And so, <laughs> and so we have changed uh, the venue from a small room to this one, yeah. Yeah, this shows that the issues to be discussed and the views to be debated at this symposium have been seen as very in interesting and important indeed. On a lovely Saturday on the beautiful campus of the Chinese University, a group of people are engaging in philosophical explorations of the aforementioned issues in bioethics. Isn't this an intellectually beautiful picture in itself? <laughs> now, finally, I would like to thank all the conference participants for your contributions. I also hope that this bioethics symposium will help establish closer working relationships among the participating schools.